On today's episode of Moto Cheese. Here I'm at the Jeep dealer, getting ready to sign away $55,000. Yep, got a new Jeep. Everybody says, how do I like it? I like it, but it's still just like a regular Rubicon until I add all my upgrades. I guess they don't give you any more accessory books with the Rubicons because it says it has like a trail rail system. You look online, it's horrible to shop online on their website. Didn't realize I didn't have a hitch. So I come home and on Rugged Ridge they had the four pin flat with the plug in connectors. You just take your light out, pop it in. It was like 69 bucks. The hitch was like $75 for the two inch. I do like it. I like the eight speed automatic. Definitely makes a big difference power wise. I did get the leather trim. Just the hard top. I got 353 miles now. It does have lockers, sway bar disconnect, and the heated seats, and the heated steering wheel, and the bigger U connect. The interior is more roomy than my last model, which is a Rubicon, of course, but it's a JK. But where they gain the room for the back seat a few inches, they give you a little dinky, small, glove box smaller than the original that came on my JK the seating's nice the angles nice I put my compressor under that seat already it has mesh on the doors a trail rail system that I'm gonna have to look up and see what I can get for it I just like having a catalog for some things they have the flip down that goes for trail rail so I ordered one of those I did order the high lift jack bar. They make one of those. I'll put a link for that. There's no padding on these, so you got to get this stuff really tight. My chainsaw fits in there. I did make a little tiny shelf. I hot glued it on so I didn't have to drill any holes because that you could peel right off. Storage back here is bigger than the JK, so it's almost twice as much storage back here. And it did come with that little Jeep bag with a D-ring and some Jeep gloves. My air compressor still fits under here. Pull out the hose and you can get to the switch. There's really no easy way to run the wires back. I actually removed this, get the wires through. I fit like, I think five 12 gauge wires through there. You can see one of my wires there. Coming up through here, it's fairly easy to get the wires up into here because this just snaps and pulls down. But instead of putting a switch on my radios this time, this pops off with clips. There's one screw here, I pulled this out. I tapped into the accessory. When you turn it off, you can have it stay on. I think it's up to 15 minutes in the program. It comes on as soon as you start, or if you want to use accessory. You shut it off and the radios will stay on, which is nice. I do like the seats. This does have the LED package. So everything is LED. Even this. This did not come with the switch bank. I was going to buy the switch bank, but it was a lot of money, so I decided against it. There's much, much less room to mount stuff. A lot less room than what's in a JK. So it does have the same engine, 3.6. The biggest thing I noticed on this I guess they did something with the axles, two inches wider and the knuckles are bigger. The turning radius is literally as tight as that two door. This did come with a winch style bumper, so I ordered a winch. Going with the x bull again, I'm going with the waterproof one this time. It does have the LED, LED headlights, no D-rings. These can come off. These vents are non-functional. They will be functional, but if you notice, they got aerodynamics from that and from the angle of the windshield compared to the old one. They also made this so Rubicon, you can put 35s. These are 33 equivalents. You can put 35s on it. They did put the fenders higher. Cheesy thumbs up of approval. The next day. First off road. 
So I got my Dominion off-road high lift jack mount. The parts are really good quality. No sharp edges. The paint's good. The holes line up perfectly. Must be, I don't know, laser cut? I have no idea, but it's very good quality. Perfect fitment. You definitely do have to trim this a little bit. All right, they fit pretty good. Oh wait, I forgot my jack. I had to get my jack on there. There. Got all my stuff. A little taller. A little fatter, for sure. See how steep this one is. It's already kind of steep to start with. No lockers or anything, just sway bar disconnected. 22, 23, 24. Feels like 40. piece of cake when you put it in drive low it literally starts in second gear low It's actually easier to put on than the JK ones because they don't have the nuts welded to it. You can feed the bolts in from behind. They left your room to get to nuts. It did have a little plate. I don't know why they had to take down, but that was just stuck on. This is the Curtis one. Fit perfect. Literally took me 20 minutes to put on. No complaints. It's not real low but it is tucked in a little bit i'm worried about ripping it off but i can't cut into that bumper like i did with my last one and put a flush mount right there because that's a double wall and it's way smaller behind it there's just not enough room on this one i guess if i rip it off once i'll fix it <laughs> i cut out for my louvers 
And if you notice, I just cut around the edge and then I use a heat gun so it would flip that out. Because if it's a pouring rain, right below it is all the, the battery and well, I have my inverter. On this side it has other stuff and it won't let UV rays get in and ruin the plastics. And that was like really easy. I'm going to try to make a switch plate cover and see how many switches I could fit in there. I got my inverter switch and my light switch. So that's what it looks like. I think it looks pretty good. It is angled to match the angle of the side of the Jeep. Just about flush with the top of the Jeep. I might have to magic mark it in white pieces of foam tape. And then I'll put this piece in the trunk just in case I ever want to flip the windshield. Am I right? All set up. First aid, water, cooking supplies. My little burner. Soap, utensils. This is that five gallon pail tool bucket thing. Deep life. It's all my goodies. You know, instant coffee, creamer, some cooking stuff, pans, small camping pots. It's hydraulically assisted and spring-loaded. Yeah, see, I think it probably should have one left open, so it gives air. Yeah, you got a pincher in there. I see that. See the vacuum of everything because it's all closed up. Yeah. There. Now you got to figure out which side you want the ladder on. This side? Is that how it goes? <laughs> it's pretty roomy. Not bad. I don't know, I like this. Great mode on cheap. Cheap, that's right. Inexpensive. Ready for a road trip. Hey, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Hit that bell if you want new notifications on new videos. Links for products used are in the description and on motoshees.com. Thanks for watching.